four. Okay, Tom Vineyard. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mm -hmm. When Tom, I will need you to give your name and address. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all right. Tom Vineyard. I pastor Windsor Hills Baptist Church in Ward Three. I live in Bethany. I own a home in Oklahoma City. Um, with all due respect to Mr. White, when our nation was founded and the founders came out of Constitution Hall, an elderly lady there asked Benjamin Franklin what kind of a government they gave us. And they said a republic. He told her a republic. It was not a democracy. A republic is founded on principles. It's founded upon values. And with due respect to Mr. Shadid, although Jesus did not use the word homosexual, he did talk about Sodom five different times in the gospel. And I'd like to read one of those verses to you in Luke chapter 17 and verse 29. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. And if God is the judge, and he is, he was, and he will be, that's something that needs to be taken into consideration in making this vote. Let me give you some statistics. I sent this to you in email form. I hope that you received it. While there are, there are only 2% to 3% of the population that are homosexuals, they account for 60% of all syphilis cases. Homosexuals account for a disproportionate number of hepatitis cases in North America, 70 to 80 percent in San Francisco, 66 percent in New York, 56 percent in Toronto, 42 percent in Montreal. I don't think that's what we're looking for when we're looking to other cities to keep up with them. Depending upon the city, 39 to 59 percent of homosexuals are infected with intestinal parasites, common in third world countries. Again. I don't think that's what we're looking for when we look to other cities. Judge John Martaw, Chief Magistrate of the New York City Criminal Court, stated homosexuals account for half the murders in large cities. Again, is that what we're looking for? Captain William Riddle of the LA Police Department said that 30,000 of the sexually abused children in Los Angeles were the victims of homosexuals. Again, is that what we're looking for? Homosexuals commit more than 33% of all the reported child molestations in the U.S. Many homosexuals openly admit that they are pedophiles because they cannot naturally reproduce. They resort to recruiting children. The homosexual group North American Man and Boy Love Association, NAMBLA, is a child molesting homosexual group whose cry is sex before eight before it's too late. The Lesbian Avengers, another, le another group, prides itself on trying to recruit young girls. Now, Mr. Shadid, several months back, they had the Gay Lesbian Pride Parade, and I'd like to give this to each of the council members, if you would, please. This is what Mr. Shadid put into that, and I'm, I'm curious to know if, if you are receiving backing from them for this promotion of this, and if so, isn't that a conflict of interest? Tom, we have three minutes if you will sum up your remarks. Has there been an economic study done on this, on the impact of this, if lawsuits are brought later on because of this? Folks, you're making a decision that will bring down God's judgment on our city if you vote in favor of this. Thanks for your time, Tom.